and approaching it will give you the option to aim it. This means that you'll be able to ride it now. Although only one player can ride a Velociraptor at a time, it has a truly impressive jumping ability. The basic option can be left over with ease, making it really easy for one player to safely traverse the map. It's also the ability that lets Velociraptors reach high up platforms. In the fringes of the Primal Zone, there are crates located on high platforms. Jump up with a Velociraptor, which can quickly get you combat ready when running low on supplies. Some rookies think that, although the M16A4 and MK47 have decent range and damage, that they're hard to use because they only support single shot and burst fire. That's why we have specially designed a tactical attachment for these two firearms, the Full Auto Mod. It can be purchased from a supply shop. Once equipped, you can get a full auto firing mode. With that, your M16A4 and MK47 can bid farewell to single shots and burst shots and join the ranks of full auto firearms. Although the difficulty of controlling recoil while continuously firing has increased, the advantage is that so has the damage. So, players who are great at controlling recoil will not want to miss out on them. If you somehow get eliminated during an intense battle, how can you continue to be with your teammates? A new companion spectating feature is available now. When you're eliminated in a match and enter spectating mode, you just need to wait five seconds to access the transform feature. After tapping the button, you can transform into your companion to remain by your teammate's side. When spectating as a companion, you can still see your teammate's elimination broadcast and you can freely perform companion emotes to cheer your teammates on at any time. However, that is all the help you can offer. You aren't able to see enemies or supplies, so you won't be able to disclose their whereabouts. Even if you don't have a companion, you can always transform into Ray to spectate.